Happening now, fighting hunger over summer vacation. So according to an organization called No Kid Hungry, only 13% of students eligible for free school meals actually uh, get that food over the summer. Yeah, our Northern Virginia reporter Haley Mylon has more on how Fairfax County is feeding vulnerable populations this summer. Kids are away from school and the cafeteria that provides free meals throughout the school year, but with a battery of resources from both the county and organizations like Be the Good with its little free food pantries, there is no reason for children in Fairfax County to go hungry this summer. It's something that is not going away. During the pandemic, Fairfax County Neighborhoods and Community Services was slammed. People like Kristen Bratt connecting families to food and other essentials. But here we are in June. Grocery prices remain sky high and emergency SNAP benefits have ended. And this school year, thousands more students in Fairfax County are eligible for food assistance. And we haven't really seen those numbers sort of decrease. The county closed the grant process for its final round of COVID-era ARPA funds, stocking the shelves of community pantries. And it's partnered with five local farmers markets to match SNAP benefits for healthy food options. But in the summer months, less than 20% of eligible students get their free meals. Either they don't have a ride or they don't know to go get them. Students who might receive food resources in the classroom through breakfast and lunch programs are suddenly at home. So the food is coming to them. That's where Amber Marchand and the group Be The Good come in. They're, as you can see, a lot like little libraries, but they're filled with unexpired, non-perishable food. And thanks to a new partnership with the school division in Fairfax, any Title I or Title I eligible school can get a pantry. And a Be The Good volunteer will pack it with food, which folks may take no questions asked. Our hope is that the little free food pantries will be there as an emergency resource. I'm told a little food pantry like this holds about three bags of groceries, but the need is so great it'll be empty in just a couple days. In Alexandria, Haley Mylon, DC News Now.